How's it going everybody? Jared here and today we're going to be looking at how to use Tiled to create a level system, kind of like Mario, and then we're going to be importing that into our Xcode project. And also if you want to see how to make the complete game of Mario, be sure to check out my Kickstarter that's going on right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is actually download Tiled. So let's go over to mapeditor.org. I'll have the link in the description down below, but it's mapeditor.org, and this is where you will download Tiled. And right in here, you're going to go ahead and say download via itch.io. And it's going to take you over to this page, so we want to go down here and just go down to the download, and we're just going to say download now. And in here, it looks like you have to pay. You don't have to pay, but if you feel like supporting the developer, which I would recommend doing because he's put a lot of time and effort into this, uh, go ahead and support the developer. But if not, you can just say, no thanks, take me to the downloads. And of course, you can go ahead and download it for your various Windows or OS X or Linux. So go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and download that for Mac. And now that it's downloaded, we can just go ahead and double click on the .dmg file and we can install it. Now it's gonna take you over to this page right here where it says tiled. Here's the licensing, the copying authors, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're just going to play around with this tiled right here. You can go ahead and click and drag that over to your applications. I already have that downloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and close that up. So now I'm going to go over to my launch pad and just click on tiled. And there you have it. There's tiled. So I'm going to go ahead and say file, new. And in here, you can say the orientation will be orthogonal or it'll be isometric or hexagonal, whatever type of game you're creating. I'm going to make mine or orthogonal because that's just uh, what I'm going to be doing. So the width... Uh, I'm going to keep this at 100 tiles height. I'm going to keep this at 10 tiles. Uh, for our tile size, uh, this is important. It's depending on the tile set that you use. If you're using the tile set that I have in the description down below, uh, this is going to be a 32 by 32 tile set image, but most others will be like 48 or something like that. So go ahead and just say OK. And there you have it. There is our map, and you can scroll through your map. This is how long your uh, level is going to be. And of course, if you want to change anything after the fact, you can go over here and change the tile width, tile height, uh, the background color, tile render. Uh, you cannot change change the width and the height, but again, you'll just have to say file new and create another level that way. And now let's actually start designing our map. So I have an image right here. Uh, if you want to download it, it will be in the description down below. Like I said, I'm just going to click and drag my super mario.png right into my tile sets right there. Uh, the name of this, you can change the name of your tile set if you want. I'm going to keep it the same tile width. Again, this will be 32 by 32. If it's 48 by 48, it will not work properly. So you want to make sure it's 32 by 32. Uh, margin spacing, this is if you have like margins around your tile sets. We don't in this case, so we're good to go. And then uh, use transparent color, I'm going to keep that off. So go ahead and say OK. So now if you have this tool selected right up here where it's like a little stamp, you can actually start putting things on your board. But we actually want to work with layers here. So with this first layer right here, you can double click, you can rename it this way. So this first layer, I'm just going to call this my background call that good and then we're going to create another one this will be another tile layer and this one will be my ground so this will be what the person's going to be able to stand on and stuff like that and if you want to add more layers you can add something like this is going to be my enemies or something like that uh, you can change that accordingly so for our background here uh, you can just go ahead and take this blue thing and you can fill in all this stuff or you can actually go right up here take this paint bucket and we can just fill that in and we're good to go so that's just a fast and simple way to create a background with one a blue background in this case so I'm gonna keep it at a blue background and then with our ground here I'm gonna go back down here click another tile I just mainly want uh, to have a green floor I want to take it off of the paint bucket because I don't want to fill the whole scene so now I'm going to just draw a bunch of grass uh, really this is all for demonstration purposes so I'm not gonna do too much also with the background here I'm going to add some clouds I just wanted to show you that this could be done too I'm gonna to take the top of the cloud here I'm gonna put this right in there then I'm also gonna take the bottom of the cloud here I'm gonna put that right in there and then now we just have this cloud now I don't want to keep doing the bottom and top uh, designing that level that way so I'm gonna go up here to my selection tool I'm just gonna click and drag to select all those tiles right there I'm gonna hit command C and that'll copy the cloud and then I'm also gonna hit command V and that's going to paste the cloud so now I can put it anywhere I want. So now I can just take that tile set and move it anywhere, like so. And then again, if you want, with your enemies, I'm just gonna add like this 
mushroom right here. Uh, you can edit all this stuff to your liking. Of course, this is going to be your own game, so I'm just going through this quickly. And there you have it. We have a tiled map created, and now let's actually get this working with Xcode. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Xcode. I'm going to create a new Xcode project. Uh, this will be a game right here, so we're going to go ahead and click Next. Our product name, I'm just going to call mine Tiled. You can, of course, call it whatever you want. Uh, language will be Swift. Game technology will be Sprite Kit. Devices will be Universal. Go ahead, click Next, and Create. And there you have it, we have our project. Now let's actually get Tiled to work with our project. Now the way we get this to work is there's a framework online called JS Tiled Map. And this is going to make your whole life a whole lot easier in using these tiled maps right here. So I'm just gonna search JS Tiled Map, like so. And then that'll pop up with the GitHub page. All of this will be in the description down below under project files. Go ahead and download that if you don't want to download all of this stuff right here. So now that we have the JS tiled map, I'm just going to download the zip folder for this. And then we can open it up. And inside of here, I want to go to the TMX map sample right here. And this is going to give me the project files that I mainly want, which is JS tile map.m and .h. And what we want to do with this, I'm going to open up my tiled project file right here. And I'm just going to click and drag these two files, JS tile map.h and m. And I'm going to put that right into my tiled project. So go ahead, click and drag that in. And also with this JS tiled map, if you go into the project files, you'll see that it's actually using uh, LFCG zip utility .h. So we also want to take those project files. So I'm going to go over here to my LFCG zip utility .h and m. I'm going to click and drag that right over to my tiled project again. And there you have all of our project files that we need. And then now with our tiled Xcode project right here, I'm just going to click and drag my, all of these project files that we have right into the project itself. And then inside of here, I'm going to say destination. I'm going to copy items if needed, just in case if this gets moved, uh, then we actually have it still. Add to targets. I'm going to add to the target of tiled, and then go ahead and finish. And then with this, we want to create a bridging header file. That way, we can actually use a JS tiled map with Swift. And there you have it. We have JS tiled map inside of our project now. So now we can go down here to our tiled bridging header file, and I'm going to say hashtag import, and we're going to import the JS tile map. H. And this is going to, again, allow you to use the JS tile map with Swift. And now let's go ahead and build and run this. And as you can see, there's a few errors. So in order to fix this, we need to go up here and we're going to go over to our build phases, go to link binary with libraries. We're going to click this plus button and we want to import the framework of our libz.tbd. And there is our libs.tibida and we can go over here down here to our game scene.swift. And now we're actually going to start importing this tiled map into our project. So first thing I'm going to do is just erase everything that we have inside of here. Uh, we're going to start with a clean slate. And also one last file that we need to import is our level2.tmx. So we're going to take this tmx file right here, and we're just going to put that right into our tiled project. Again, copy items if needed, just in case this file gets moved. Add the targets, you want to make sure it's set to that target, and go ahead and finish. And there is our level2.tmx. It just looks like a bunch of numbers, but essentially what JS Tile Map does is it allows those numbers to be turned into something that's actually usable uh, with Swift. And now let's go back over here to our game scene.swift. And the first thing I want to do is create a map. So this is going to be essentially our tiled maps. And now we're going to take that map and import it into our project. So we're going to create this map first. So we want to say let map equal, and I'm going to make this equal to a JS tile map open parentheses and I'm going to pick this one that says named although file named would work too but I'm going to hit named and then quotes and then inside of this we're going to take the name of our tmx file so my tmx file is level2.tmx so there we have our map and now it's super dead simple to actually import this map into our project we just need to say did move to view and then we're just going to say add child and we're going to add the child of our map now you'll see as we build and run this right now, uh, we actually are going to get an error. And I'll show you how to fix this in just a second. So here we have it. Uh, you can see that there's like something wrong with the PNG apparently, but this is actually wrong. We actually need to head back over to our tiled map right here. And what you'll see over here in the properties is that the tile layer format is equal to a CSV. Now this is actually wrong. We want this to be a Zlib compressed like that. Uh, because that's what we're going to be using inside of that's what JS tile map uses to compress all of their files so that we can actually use it. So now I can save this file right here and we actually need to re-import this file back to our Xcode project again. So I'm going to go ahead and go back over to my Xcode project, go ahead and delete to that level2.tmx. Just going to say move to trash. And then we can take this other one that we say just saved and I'm going to take and drag that right back in there. 
and I'm gonna just again add the targets all that kind of stuff finish and now we have our level 2.tmx and it should look something like this where it's not a bunch of ones and twos and all that kind of stuff uh, it's actually like an encoding something is going on so this is our encoding this is our compression that's going on with this file and now if we were to build and run this and now if you're getting nothing showing up this is because we actually need to import our photo in here as well so I'm just going to go ahead and take that super mario.png I'm gonna click and drag that right into my project again copy items needed finish we're good to go and now uh, if we were to build and run this we should actually have it so it's going to grab that super mario.png as you can see inside of our tmx file that's what it's named as and now it's going to import that into our project and we're good to go i'm going to say map.position i'm going to set this equal to a cg point uh, then open parentheses and we'll give this an x value of zero and a y value of zero and now if we were to build and run this so we set the position of our thing to zero, zero, and essentially what zero, zero is, it's like right off to the side right here because we're working with frames. Uh, in order to fix this, we could actually go right up here to our game view controller .swift, and we can say scene.size will be equal to that, and we're going to set it equal to self.view.frame.size. And then now, if we were to build and run this, we should actually have that position properly. So now we actually have it positioned properly, and it's off to the left side of the screen, and that fixed that problem. But now the next problem is, as you can see, it's only like fitting half the scene. Now this is mainly because uh, of the way we set up our tile set. If you want to set up your tile set a little bit more properly, you could actually make it so it's like uh, fitting more of the resolution resolution of the screen. If we were to go back to tiled, when you create your scene, you want to say File New. And let's say with the width and height right here, you want to make the height equivalent to, or if not close to, uh, the size of the iPhone. And that makes it a lot easier to work with. So you can make the height of this like 36 or 35 or something like that. And that'll put it about the height of your iPhone. Again, play around with it and it should work properly. But because of the way we set it up, we need to actually fix this our own way. And the way I'm going to fix this is by going down here and I'm going to say map dot set scale and we're going to set the scale of this equal to like 2.4 or something like that and then this should uh, make it so it fits the whole screen now again i would not recommend doing this as it just makes the tiles really big again if i were to do this over again i would make the tile sets a little bit larger so that it fits the whole screen but right now this is what we're dealing with so as you can see this kind of fixes it and there you have it. We learned how to do tiled and set that up properly inside of your Xcode project. Again, if I were to do this over again, I would make the tiles a little bit smaller. That way it fits the whole iPhone screen a little bit better rather than having it fit the whole screen like that. But hopefully you get the idea of how all that works. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Bye.